before his Mercyhurst men's lacrosse team met Adelphi in the NCAA Division II championship game, Chris Ryan could not help but remember how the Lakers' last trip here ended. A fluke goal, a pass redirected accidentally into the cage with one second left, denied them in 2007 and gave Lemoyne a win in the lowest scoring NCAA championship game in history. I've always prided us on being a team that, you know what, you, you bring your lunch pail, you do your work, if it works out, if the cards fall in your favor, then you try to take advantage of them. If not, you keep, you keep working. And I think there's, you know, some times in the program's history, including 2007, you know, where, where we, we could have taken a step back, we could have, we could have come up with excuses, but, you know, again, we, we great character kids on this team, past and present. And uh, I'll tell you, man, it really came through today. You could, you could just see the character of the kids coming in towards, towards the end of that game when it was gut check time. Crunch time came in the form of Adelphi's Kieran Regal, bearing down on goalie Zach Nash on a breakaway with the same kind of last second urgency that cursed Mercyhurst in 2007. Nash made the save with two seconds remaining. The Lakers won nine to eight. Their demons exercised for good. Just saw where his eyes were looking. He had his shoulders. Shoulders pointed down, just followed the stick, followed the ball. I mean, I was on a, not having any game experience in here. It's hard to see the ball, so I was having a hard time seeing the ball all game. But, I mean, came down last minute. I thought we were going to kill the clock, but when you have someone running down, I mean, you got adrenaline going. <laughs> just made a save. I still can't believe I got it. Mercyhurst was in position to win thanks to the unlikely heroics of Ian Wilde, a Pittsburgh native and football player first. Wild is normally the third wheel of the Lakers midfield, a role player who scored just 11 goals all season. He raised eyebrows in pregame when he guaranteed an assistant coach that he would go to the rack on Mercyhurst's first possession and score. True to his word, he did just that two minutes into the game. We call him Manchild. His name's Ian Wild, but I mean, for him to come out and do that, he's a two-sport athlete. He's an All-American football player. I mean, he's, to me, he's an All-American cross player now. I mean. Came out here, everyone thinks he doesn't have the best stick skills. I mean, came out here and put the ball in the back in that four times, so. With four goals, Wild was named the most outstanding player of the NCAA championship. Yeah, adrenaline going in front of all these people. I mean, I, it's because everyone scored last week. I didn't score last week, so they weren't covering me as, as much. So that's the only reason I was open today. You feel like you represented Pittsburgh here today? Yeah, I definitely do. I mean, Pittsburgh, there's good players at Pittsburgh and a lot of people know about it. What a kid. I, I, you know, that's a kid, a competitor. He is uh, really indescribable as far as his mental toughness and then his athleticism. I mean, he, he's, he's basically an NFL football player out there. The game matched contrasting styles. Mercyhurst's settled offense versus Adelphi's run and gun approach under Australian native coach and Adelphi alum Gordon Purdy, who brought the Panthers to their first championship game since 2001. The Lakers did not score in the fourth quarter, but they led 8-5 with 4.52 left in the third quarter on a Brian Sheets goal and 9-6 with 2.15 remaining on Wilds' fourth. Adelphi scored two straight to pull within one, but was unable to score again after Danny Blau converted a terrific no-look lefty shot on the crease with a long pole in his face as he tried to get topside. Mercyhurst held Adelphi scoreless for the final six and a half minutes and killed off nearly two minutes of clock when Adelphi pressured the ball, got possession, and put together the last ditch effort that fell short. Chris Ryan, in his 11th season since taking the helm of this Division II program, located in the remote north of Pennsylvania, had his first national championship. I gotta go mow my lawn tomorrow and I think it will probably set in as I'm bagging some grass. Mercyhurst's work has finally paid off.